discuss about VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. So here is a table. So these are the item. These are the items. Six items I have uh, put here: computer, webcam, scanner, printer, office desk, and UPS. So and these are the quantity of each item and these are the unit price so from this table uh, for the time being uh, let's ignore this column this column d let's ignore this i will discuss separately what is this so now there are three three columns mainly in this table this description item description this quantity of items and the unit price of each item so how to use this vlookup formula and using this vlookup formula how we can sort out the items or uh, in easy step we can find out the desired value suppose this is the item column so by item menu uh, we want to find out we want to find out the price price for for each uh, item or as per the desired as per the requirement so suppose here we have put the scanner and we want the price to be mentioned here in this cell adjacent to this item so here is the vlookup formula so the formula is like this equals to vlookup then then you have to select this i37 that means the reference cell comma then select the entire table comma then number of column suppose here c column so c column d column e column three and the fourth column is the f column that is unit price so so we want to we want to so here the price that means column number four so this this is one column number one two three and four so this four is the column number then comma zero zero means the range zero means the exact matching exact matching uh, in terms of item description so this is the function of zero okay so let's let's type once again what i have explained already equals to vlookup compress tab then select the reference cell then comma then we need to select the entire table so from c column up to f column all the data drag and drop then release comma and now we want to show the price unit price that means column number 1 2 3 4 so we need to put here four, comma, then zero, zero for the exact matching. So you can put zero or you can leave it blank. If you put zero, then keep in mind that it will be searching for the exact match. Now press enter. You see the price for the scanner is eighteen hundred. You can see here uh, scanner price is eighteen hundred. So if I if I put here, suppose computer, then you notice the price it is changed to twenty five thousand because the computer price is twenty five thousand. So this is the lookup formula. Using this formula, you can find out uh, the required value. Now. We don't want to type here. It will be easier for us if we can create a drop-down list like this. Suppose for computer, 
then the price will be uh, coming here if we select another item suppose webcam you see 2500 drop down office desk 8600 so from the drop down list you can select and you can find out the price so this is case 2 so how to create a drop down i have already explained in separate video still in this uh, in in this video i can also explain once again how to do this let's copy this and paste here okay so using okay now it is selected using the data validation go to go to uh, data validation under tab uh, data tab here so this is data validation click here data validation you can select list drop down list and here is the source suppose here we want to sorry uh, not this one it wants to source means this table yeah now click ok and you can see this is this is the drop down list scanner office desk so like this actually we need to select a separate uh, cell for this uh, reference okay so this is drop down list so in this way we can use the function uh, VLOOKUP formula and with this formula we can find out um, each and every item uh, whether it may be price or quantity suppose if, uh, if we want to uh, find out the quantity here so quantity that means column number 1, 2 and 3 Col so column number 3 that means you need to specify here column in this number 3 instead of 4 so 3 now you can see this is coming actually quantity not price quantity is coming the scanner quantity you can see 1 if we select another one suppose computer quantity is 4 you can see here computer quantity is 4 so it depends on how you are defining uh, which is your uh, which is your uh, target column which column or uh, which value you want to show accordingly you need to change this one this column this is column number 